Now, the men you arrested, what did you do with them? My Lord, we, so the directive from Director General Police, he said we should send them to the East Legal Police Station. Were any of them injured? My Lord, at a time that we sent them to the police station, I did not see any visible mark of injury. And none of them even complained to me that he was injured. At that particular moment, because from the location to the police station is not very far. And we acted as quickly as possible because of the, the degeneration and the tension which was building up in the area because taking into consideration the election which was going on nearby, we did not, I did not want to, you know, cause any delays which will, you know, cause disruption to activity around the area, which includes the election which was, which was taking place nearby. Now, you have indicated that your men somehow manhandled this man. Am I right? Have you said that? Uh, 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 yes, with the hindsight of the video. Oh. The video. Are you telling the commission that you, as the commander of the day and present at the scene, did not see anything? Oh, my lord, I, I'm saying that even the video confirms it, my lord. No, I want you to tell me. Yes. What do you say? Forget about videos. Let's stay with you. You are yeah. the commander of the SWAT team on yes. the day you were present. Yes, DSP. How did your men handle these citizens of Ghana? Um. The, 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 it was it was not in the um, proper manner. They did not handle them in the in the professional way, the way they were taught to. And by not handling them in a professional manner, what exactly are you saying? We need to know as a commission. Uh, um, based on that, we are we are. We have um, in, initiated this fair action. Um, yes, since you are struggling to tell us, let me help you. Yes, my Did your men beat these people up? No, sir. They, uh, um, their, their idea of minimum force that we saw on TV was, you know, too much for all of us. You know, yes, they were yes, with more before, you, before you go on, before you go on, please, let me remind you of your oath. Yes, my Lord. Okay. We are not here to persecute anybody. Yes, my Lord. The commission needs to get to the bottom of this. Yes, my Lord. And we want you, as I told you, to be as candid as possible. Yes, my Lord. Please. Yes, my Lord. Tell the commission, what exactly did your men do to these people? Um, as I... I my Lord, as I stated already, uh, when the nine persons were arrested, some of them surrendered peacefully and were taken to the vehicle, but some decided to run away from lawful arrests. And the boys pounced on them. And the mood and the way they were handled, that's why I'm saying that it amounted to the subject of um, action against them. Now, would you be surprised if I should, for instance, tell you that some of these men were said to have evidence of assault? Would you be surprised? Evidence of assault, as seen having been beaten. Would you be surprised? My Lord, as, at what point, my Lord? From the police station. Oh, my Lord, yes, of course, my Lord, I, 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 I later got to know that some of them reported or showed marks of um, assault on them to the, uh, the companies. You are not able to tell the commission as to how they came to have this evidence of assault. Is that what you're saying? As a commander on the day with your team, you arrested men. After arresting them, you took them to a police station. Subsequently, we've seen pictures or we've been given evidence that um, they had. In fact, some of them 
we are told, or the commission is told, sustained cuts to their head. Would you be surprised? Uh, my Lord, as I, I, I already stated, as at the time I took them to the police station, I have never seen any mark on them. And none of them informed me that they were injured. My Lord. Would you also be surprised that I have seen here a picture of one of them with a blood stained vest? Would that surprise you? No, my Lord. That wouldn't surprise you? Yes, my Lord. Is it therefore right for me to suggest to you that as at the time you were taking the man to the police station, he had that blood-stained shirt? Is that right? My Lord, um, I can easily identify that gentleman okay. because after his arrest, he was wearing a white t-shirt. And I even interviewed him. That time, there was no stain in the singlet. But I believe for one reason or another, he used, later when we left, he used the, that singlet to, you know, wipe the blood that may be, be coming, oozing from his scalp, which I did not see. But at the time, I took him to the police station. His singlet was not soaked in blood. Yes. Yes, my lord. How come you are so sure of the gentleman I'm referring to? Be because, my lord, he, you, he was wearing a white. Later on, I saw it on in the media. I saw that particular gentleman in the media with blood. To be frank, when I saw the blood on him, I said, wow. Oh, so, sorry, my. No, sorry. I said, oh, and how come that this thing was there and I didn't see it? But I, I realized that because when you get a cut, maybe immediately the blood will not be oozing. But when you, you, you know, inter uh, you, you disturb the cut, then it starts to ooze. I think that's why at that particular moment, you know, he, 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 he could not find it the blood using for him to use the similar to wipe it. That's my 